Okay, let me check my microphone first. If you guys can hear me well, then I guess you can just type here and say, uh, it's fine or it's cracking or something like that. If you guys can give me a feedback, that'd be great. Uh, but I know that it's like gonna be really delayed for your end, so I'm just gonna wait here for a couple of minutes and see if anybody's saying anything. Still quiet. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, I got the feedback. Okay, stop the music and I'm just gonna start here. Okay, so how's it going everyone? This is your GM business guest speaking and welcome to another episode of C9 Official Live for January. And Please excuse my voice because I might cough occasionally, and and I'm just gonna <laughs> I'm just gonna cough. <coughs> Sorry, it's like things getting in my throat, and yeah, and you guys will hear me occasionally pausing from time to time because I'm not really good at talking all by myself and yeah actually for that matter I invited Claire to be joining my show today but then she was like nah and I was like come on <laughs> you should be joining me this time it, it's been a whole year been doing all by myself and I'm not gonna do this again all my alone and then she was like still shaking her head and saying like no but instead this time she was give it, she was she made me the presentation so yeah well uh yeah of course I re read it and I had to just fix some of the text <laughs> because some of them were really long and even though it was written nicely, I had to chop it down a bit so that you guys can read it better afterwards or whatever. <laughs> but anyway, thanks Claire for making this wonderful presentation for me. And yeah, well, of course, everybody, thank for being here. It's pretty wonderful. I know it, 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 some of you it might be, your time would be really late or just about the right time. Over here it's about pretty close to noon and I just had my breakfast but then I was looking at my watch and was saying oh it was, it's almost the live stream time oh crap <laughs> so I had to just cut down my meal and just come back here and do this and yeah it's gonna be pretty interesting stuff here so let's get to it uh yeah so that that's pretty much my side of the story anyway yeah moving on moving on so yes this is <coughs> excuse me see no future updates and survey results the usual title goes here yep pretty plain I'm just gonna move on to the next page so to Today's contents would be survey results going first, unlike the usual, because yeah, well, she she kind of suggests me to do the oldest surveys first, since it's like the least interesting news, and then future updates and a bit of a the webs and notes. So that's gonna be everything for today, and she added a little nice picture here too, so. I I don't have to just look here, look at the blank side. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, that was silly. Moving on. So, survey results. What happened? What we had survey for a couple of, last, couple of times. Last time was like. First one was for Glenheim Redemption, and we asked you guys a few questions about how the things are going and how you feel about the changes and here are the results 
So, <coughs> well, kiss me. So the dungeon difficulty. Most of them felt about the change really good, or pretty good, or normal. But the majority of them are saying it was overall good. Hmm. And the dungeon rewards. Still, not many are satisfied with it. And the nightmare mode. Hmm. A little good, but. A bit about average, normal, something is bad, pretty bad, something is good. So that's about in total as in general as an average score I would say. So generally satisfied but players want more rewards. Yep, that's that's the usual I would say. Yeah. And quest route or like how the quest being done how it's been like executed pretty normal good very good very little unsatisfied players so that's really good I guess and the skill book bonus change was well overall slightly good but some were pretty extreme about saying like a very bad but yeah. Oh well. <laughs> UI change. Everybody was thinking of it as really mm, good idea to do this, some UI change. So it's good to hear. And dev team all received this about about your feedback. So thanks for the feedback about the Glenham Redemption. And yeah, well. Overall, players didn't feel much difference, but many answered positively. So, well, thanks for the, all the fans and players for really nice answers. And about the Valkyrie updates, satisfaction level was really nice. Yeah, most most people said either good or very good. Some said normal, but very few said very bad or bad. And let's look at the good things and the bad things about Valkyrie. Majority of people really liked the Valkyrie's playstyle. And quarter of people saying Valkyrie was powerful. And yeah, it's a new class, of course. Why wouldn't you like new class? I always like to try out the new stuff anyway, so but that's just me. <laughs> and the people did what people didn't like about Valkyrie was like mostly something else. They all had their own ideas and stuff, so we couldn't really narrow it down to one single line, but okay, let's look at the other stuff like Valkyrie's weak. Yeah, so for some people it might be pretty weak. I don't know. And don't like leveling up a new character. Mm, yeah, I would agree with that too. <laughs> I always like to stick with one character, and that's just it. But yeah, so what do you guys think about it? Many players were satisfied with Valkyrie's playstyle and damage output. Yeah, that's pretty much sums it all. And some other interesting results like PVE, overall average. Desired change for much what people still want it much much stronger or stronger. Ah oh, no, desired changes in uh, damage output wise. I would say yeah, that's a bit like confusing title there, but yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> so yeah, many people wanted her to be a bit stronger. I don't know about that, but that sounds like... I guess it's kinda okay, but maybe a little tweaking required. PvP being normal. Yeah, that's really big normal right there. So I guess the class is really balanced in somewhat ways. And desired changes. Oh, oh that's why. <laughs> Maybe mistakenly copy pasted over there. 
Maintain the state stronger. Ah, uh, okay, so it's like PVE and the PVP. Claire, you should have told me about this. Making me awkward. Sop. <laughs> no. <laughs> Just kidding, but yeah, for PvP wise, people are really, really think that the class is pretty balanced. But still, there are some portion of people saying wants her to be much stronger, stronger. Okay, so there was the survey results. <coughs> Next topic gonna be the future updates now this is the thing where it starts getting interesting well normally I started with first but anyways so first thing is a nightmare re rewards the dev team we, we've been talking to dev team and now you can change choose your rewards between s strong uh, strength version or wisdom version of the equipment so I guess this really good news and secondly PvP rewards for like gold co gold on coin reset since the reward system is gonna change a bit and then I know there's a lot of you been stacking tons amount of gold on coins and since the whole reward system is gonna change a bit that we kind of decided to make a, make a reset to it but it's just yeah I know most of you who've been gathering the uh, coins wouldn't really like the news so we are still trying to sort out the the compensation part but we haven't really decided anything solid yet so I cannot really say there's if there's gonna be a compensation part or not but yeah we are still trying to trying to work on it and yeah it's yeah, I cannot say anything further than saying that there's gonna be some, is, there's gonna be a reset to, for that item. Hmm. Yeah, and the the very last topic, which is gonna take most of my time for today's show, is gonna be. The class renewal for warrior. Yeah, it's it's gonna be pretty long presentation, so stay with me or bear with me. So let's start by saying why we decide to renew this class. This is an old class with historical value since the class has been in the game since the grand launch of the game of C9 and second the class became too weak over time over the updates of the new continents like fourth continent updated fifth continent updated now we are having first half of the sixth continent and unfortunately for warriors it's situation got worse much worse than before as a result warrior, warrior class has been the least max level class for, from the entire game and warrior class runs the least number of extreme dungeons like per player base Everyone from design team agreed on renewing warrior class. <laughs> yeah, that seems pretty obvious, isn't it? So, let's write down some of the demerits of warrior class. Skill combos are not so smooth. Not enough action skills compared to other classes. Occasional delays after using skills interrupting flow of combat. 
really horrible. <laughs> Vulnerable to counterattacks due to lack of steel vantages, like, you know, super armors, like eye frames, that kind of stuff. Grabbing skills tends to become inefficient as the class progress towards later continents, once it's getting harder to grab. Yeah, that's another problem of warrior and <coughs> skills having overall small range of effect making PvE difficult. That's a lot of cons. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is a reaction from like the design team. Yeah, they've been thinking about this. They've been considering about the changes for a, for quite a while. And now let's look at what changes going to happen to the warrior class. So the character will still remain as the same before, but now we'll have some changes like increased overall attack damage and range of grab skills. Added new skill which would help great increase damage output. Added skill vantage to pre-existing skills or increase number of skill vantage frames. Enhanced skills for better combo design. Enhanced skill book set effects action modifying skill books. So, ultimate goal is to make it possess capabilities as great as the name of class. So, as you can see, it's a whole bunch of increase, buff, 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 buff. There is no such thing as enough in this class renew or revamp you, however you want to call it it's a whole buff so new action skill flame giant strength that's like work in progress name but pretty sure it's gonna be the name for the new skill it's a self buff skill 100% chance to burn target on hit while the buff is on you Reduces targets fire resistance on hit. Has cool aura looking skill effect while you're using it, so it's that you can see that you are using the skill. Of course, the, you can see there's like cool flames over there, and it looks a bit like a, a icy stuff, but never mind. <laughs> and it's for PVE only, not for PVP. Hmm. Next one, action new action skill, grab low. Um, yeah, well, it's also work in progress name. Yeah. Grab fallen target. Can be used as either action skill or shift E. Can combo with back hit grab. And can use grab strike after the grab. Target damage plus so it's like a singular target damage plus area of effect damage when pounding the target on the ground like you can see right here it's like pounding on the ground some blood splashes <sighs> scary invincible while casting PVE only available in PVP new passive skill flame blade Passive for enhancing bash skills. Bash attack attack range, attack speed will get increased. Draw in when it's used, draws an enemy while charging bash V, which means five, of course. <laughs> Changes bash skill animation look cooler. Oh, you, well, you're gonna see the video later. I'm not sure whether the flame blade skill was added to the clip, but it's also available in PvP. 
pre-existing skills getting vantage buff. Let's just name the skills. Grab crash, air press, blazing crasher, lion's roar, seismic bash triple, blazing slash, back hit grab, grab strike. Pre-existing skills getting damage buff. Well, 